Welcome back everybody. Uh, we're gonna do a real quick one today. I got a little bit of time here. I got a lot of stuff to do today, but I have to get out on the ice. I have the opportunity to possibly get out on some closer stuff. Um, the idea here is I haven't gone pan fishing yet this season. If any of you guys know me from uh, the beginning of my channel, I'm a bluegill nut and uh, I like any kind of big pan fish. So a lot of times you'll catch me chasing those guys most of the season. I just been recently been stuck into this kind of uh, going really, really far north. And whenever I do that, I tend to chase crappies and walleye. Uh, I do chase other fish when I go go north. It just depends on you know what kind of bite I I have the ability to get on. So uh, fingers crossed. If you're seeing this, we got on some fish. Hopefully you guys can see this as good as me because uh, I know these fish are going to be a little skittish. So I got the whole shack darkened up and I might even be doing some more sight fishing than I am uh, using my flasher. But I'm also only in like 8 feet of water. Oh, there's a perch. A decent looking perch. A couple of them. That guy looked bigger. I'm going to put this guy back right away. <laughs> you can see him swimming underneath the ice. I think I just attracted a northern pike. <laughs> Not only did I attract him, I hooked him. This is only four pound test too. <laughs> well, that's two fish in like a couple seconds. Definitely gonna have to retie after that one, but it was fun. Big tip, I know I've said it before, but if you hook a northern pike on a little tiny jig like this, your best bet is to just take it off and retie it. Because you never know, the next fish could be a trophy, bluegill, perch, crappie, bass, whatever. You don't want it, uh, you don't want your line frayed from them. So, 
hopefully that helps you guys. I'm going to retie this and uh, get back down there. Okay, let's see if we can catch a bunch more. Got an hour or two left. There's another northern pike down there. I don't know if I should catch it or not. I just took it away from him. I don't know if you guys can see him. Let's see if I can get him to come up real shallow here. I can see him right through the ice underneath me. <laughs> this is so cool. See him right there? That's why fishing in a dark shack is fun. Oh, he's still looking at it. goes there's another one <laughs> stuck in the Yeah, these guys don't like being hooked. <laughs> How do you get these guys out of your hole? You catch them. <laughs> greedy little buggers. I've only had one bluego come through that I've wanted to catch and I had one of these guys tailing it. Bye. Only downside to catching that fish was he tore up all the weeds around me. So it's gonna be a mess of weeds and stuff marking on my fish finder now until they all settle which could take a long time. So keep that in mind. Holy, I just had a monster northern pike swim by. And when I say monster, I'm talking way over 30. That could be reckless. <laughs> oh, here comes another one. Hmm. <laughs> Digging for northern pike on panfish gear. That is the day. <laughs> oh, he pulled off. Which I'm okay with, because all I did was scare him away. And he didn't hurt my line. So <laughs> that's two benefits. I hooked him, got rid of him, and I kept my bait. <laughs> It's amazing what you can catch on a wax worm and a tungsten jig. Oh, finally had a blue go come in. Dang it! <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen a big bluegill. Got me all excited. But I blew it. Oh, I think he's came back. A little seven inch gill. Let's see if we can get a bunch of these guys real quick here. He didn't have any problems committing, so. Thanks, buddy. Two of them down here. Oh, this guy's committed. <laughs> it's a respectable little guy. Healthy. There you go, buddy. <laughs> a 
big gill right there. You can literally see him swimming in. He would have swam right by this guy, he was swimming too high. Worm and there's a bigger one right there. Let's see if I can get him to eat this little thing. A lot of waxy. This is why I have multiple rods set up. These have plastics on them. That bluegill swimming away now. <laughs> One thing that sucks about being able to see him through the ice, you can literally see him just sitting right over there. Oh, he's going after my wax worm that other one stole. Let me come as one in on my plastic. Got another northern pike down there. That's like number five for the day. And that's how you stick them. Right there in the roof of the mouth. No harm, no foul. But gets these guys out of the area. Go away. <laughs> Just barely seen that guy come in. He was committed before he even made it to my jig. <laughs> There's a big gill that just stopped under my hole. I got lucky. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh, sorry. Hold still there, big guy. Hold still. There's another one down there right now. I'll let this guy go. Let's see how many I can get real quick here. Oh, that guy's still just sitting there, even though I just let that gill go. Let's see if he eats. There's a couple of them down there. Try to get the bigger one to commit. It looks like he came in on it. Either I just scared him with hitting him, or there's another big northern or something cruising around here. Okay, so I wanted to try out some. I wanted to try out some plastics, <laughs> and uh, apparently they work. <laughs> that guy came out of nowhere. Looks like there's more down there. Oh, here he comes. Well, if I wanted a meal today. <laughs> another one. Got two of them down there. 
got both of these guys to bite it like five times now. The jig's just a little bit too heavy for him to suck in. I have to tight a lighter jig on that one. I dropped this wax worm. I had two of these guys shoot in from a distance. There are actually three of them. Another perfectly good eater. I was getting entertaining. I was sitting here tying on a new jig and I literally have a school of bluegills that just showed up below me. I don't know if you guys can see all of them but uh yeah there's a ton of them down there. Now I'm frantically trying to thread on a plastic I can barely see on a tiny little hook. Oh, and then they're all gone, of course. Well, I got a couple guys come back here. No way! It just like a big fat pig pike. It's probably chasing my bluegills around. Get him! <laughs> I tied on a lighter jig. That little thing, <laughs> this guy came in and smoked it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> That's just how greedy they are. Finally caught one of those guys. They're all about six, seven inches. And get one more before they all disappear again. Oh, here comes one back. Oh, that's a better one. Let's see how many we can get back to back. Granted, I just caught two and let them go, so all the other ones might be scared now. Looks like there's a bull off to my left. Nice big round gill. Here we go. <laughs> a lot of healthy gills down here. You know if I got that guy in film he came in so quickly. <laughs> Gotta go down the hole, dummy.
think they're getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Beat your buddy to the hook set. Okay guys, so yeah, I know that was a little bit long, but that one was nuts. I, I mean, I caught so many northern that day. I don't even know if I put all of them in there, but it was hectic. I mean, four pound test and, you know, 20 to 30 inch northern on a consistent basis. Not to mention like the, I think I caught like 50 or 100 gills. I know I didn't put them all in there because that would have been ridiculous. That would have been like an hour, or two hours worth of footage. But, uh. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was fun. That crystal clear ice is just nuts. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to experience any more of that this year. Uh, so I'm glad I did it. Like I said, well, I don't know if I even said it before, but don't go on ice like that if you don't know what you're doing. This is a highly recommended, like, do not do what I did. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up, but if you're new here, just remember to... <laughs>